Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with soil mechanics in the topic of CS strain. So the problem is a cylindrical specimen of dry sand was tested in a triaxial test. Failure occurred under the cell pressure of 12 kN per meter square and a deviated stress of 40 kN per meter square. So we have to find out what is the angle of shearing resistance that is phi. Then what were the normal and shear stress that is sigma and tau. So then what is the maximum shear stress so tau max on the any plane in the specimen at the instant of failure. Okay. So we have to find out uh, all those things. So three things. So first one is given values. So the given values now the sigma 3 is given sigma 3 is 12 kN per meter square so then deviated stress sigma d equal to 40 kN per meter square okay so since this is a sand so c equal to 0 okay so the question is 0 okay so these are all the given values so we have to find out the first thing is angle of shearing resistance that is phi okay so now we can take uh, sigma 1 value so sigma 1 we know sigma 3 plus sigma d so now we can take sigma 3 is 12 plus 40 is sigma d so total sigma 1 value is solving this we got the value of 52 kN per meter square okay so now we can take sigma 1 equal to the formula sigma 3 into tan square alpha plus 2c tan alpha okay so now we know the formula so now this term will be zero because uh, the coefficient will be zero so now we can substitute all the values over here so with the only unknown is of alpha okay so now sigma 1 value is 52 equal to sigma 3 value is 12 into tan square alpha so now uh, we can take the alpha equal to tan 52 divided by 12 okay so now uh, alpha equal to we know the 45 plus 5 by 2 so now the alpha value we have to find out so the from that we can know alpha value is uh, 64 degree 20 minutes okay so from that we can know that alpha is 64 degree 20 minutes equal to 45 plus 5 by 2 so from that relationship the phi we can find out the phi so the phi value is 38 degree and 40 minutes okay so next thing is uh, we have to find out the normal stress and the shear stress so the formula for normal stress sigma equal to sigma 1 plus sigma 3 divided by 2 again plus sigma 1 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 into cos to alpha okay so now we, have, we know all those things we can substitute all the values over here so sigma 1 values we know 52 plus sigma 3 values 12 divided by 2 again plus again 52 minus 12 divided by 2 into cos 2 into alpha value is 64 degree 20 minutes okay so from that solving this we got the value of uh, sigma equal to 19.5 kN per meter square okay so next thing is uh, we have to find out the phi value so sorry tau value so tau equal to the formula sigma 1 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 into sin 2 alpha okay now we can substitute all the values over here so now the value is 52 minus 12 divided by 2 into sin alpha value is 2 alpha 2 into 64 degree 20 minutes okay so now solving this we got the value of tau equal to 15.61 kN per meter square okay so this is the second question answer okay so the first question answer is phi equal to 38 degree 40 minutes so then second answer the so normal stress is 19.5 kN per meter square and tau the shear stress is 15.61 kN per meter square okay so next thing is we have to find out the maximum shear stress that is uh, tau max tau max the formula is sigma 1 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 okay so solving this uh, we can substitute all the values over here 52 minus 
uh, 12 divided by 2 so that is 40 divided by 2 equal to 20 kilonewton per meter square okay so this is the third question answer okay so this is a method we can solve the problem again we'll see next video thank you